everyone welcome back to my channel it is 11 degrees today which is amazing so it's the first warm day of the season and i'm celebrating with my spring outfit but yeah so i'm about to head to the mall and i figured that for today's video i would try to do um a video that i think is pretty popular right now it's like going around youtube i watched a couple myself but today i'm actually going to be going to the mall um i have some stuff to do downtown to get my vaccinations and everything like that so i figured that i would go into a few stores and try on jeans and i wanted to see how much they differ based on store for the same size so if you're a woman or you've ever shopped women's fashion you know how frustrating it can be because none of the sizes are the same everything fits differently and it's just a very frustrating experience overall i will be trying on size eights today at every store so i'm thinking i'm gonna do like american eagle levi's Old Navy, Hollister. I have never once bought anything from Hollister. It makes me uncomfortable. Also, check out my new fucking sunglasses. I am literally obsessed with them. They're prescription so I can see. <laughs> Does anyone actually like being in Forever 21? It's so hot, it smells bad, and I don't know where the jeans are. Hey guys, so it is the next day. I figured I would come and do a little recap because I did get a lot of footage, but um, I didn't talk a lot in it because it was awkward to talk in a change room to myself. I don't wanna see any sass in the comments about my hair, okay? <laughs> I tried to go trendy and cute, and it turned out like this. I even put two scrunchies in, cause scrunchies are in style, but I turned out like this. All right, so when I was in the change room, I decided to write notes, which thank fucking God, cause if I didn't, I would not remember shit. Okay, so let's start. So just to recap, I went to the mall and I went to five stores and I tried on a size eight across the board. To be honest, when I buy jeans, which is never, but when I do buy jeans or pants, I usually vary in between an eight and a 10. So I could probably do another video trying on tens, but for this video, just to keep it consistent, I decided to try on the eights. All right, so the first store I went to was Old Navy and I decided to try on two pairs of pants, two pairs of jeans. One of them was a uh, curvy, fit which I don't know like I feel like in theory or I feel like it would make sense if that meant I don't like I don't exactly know what the curvy fit means I don't know if that means it's just stretchier I don't know if that means the sizing is different but I decided to try both just because they were both there unfortunately when I was there I couldn't find any high-waisted pants which was really fucking annoying because who wears mid-rise jeans not me. I originally hoped to try on the same style of jeans in every store, but unfortunately all different stores had different style of jeans. So some of them vary, some are like curvy fit, some are like boyfriend fit, but I mean, listen, the point is the same, okay? But anyway, so when I was in Old Navy, I found that the curvy fit fit much better than the regular fit. Uh, both of them fit, both of them went up and buttoned up, but as you can tell, the one that wasn't the curvy fit, it was a bit tight, like too tight for me to comfortably wear it. Also too tight around my stomach, and as you can see, I had a lot of skin sticking out the top. That's probably gonna be a popular trend through this video, is my loose skin popping out. That's another reason why I hate wearing jeans, because like it just isn't comfortable. But I mean, you guys have seen it, like the loose skin when I wear jeans. It's like, bleh. but yeah, the curvy ones did fit a lot better than the regular jeans. However, regardless of if it is curvy fit or not, I still feel like if it's the same number size, they should fit the fucking same, at least in the waist. So that was a big thing is they fit different in the waist. Like the waist measurement, in my opinion, should always be the same. I don't understand why we don't have universal sizing. Like I really don't understand. All right, so after Old Navy, I decided I was gonna go into Hollister. Fun fact, before this moment, I never tried anything on at Hollister. I kind of resent Hollister, especially coming from someone who like used to be big and like Hollister is obviously, like we all know, very like, you're fat, you can't wear a clap. All right, so when I went in, I ended up taking two sizes, a 27 and a 29. The reason why I chose uh, the 27 and the 29 is because on the website, it translated to the 27 being a size seven and the 29 being a size nine. Um, obviously I was looking for eights, but they didn't have any 28s, so I just thought I'll take these both. 
see how it goes. Hi guys, so I'm editing and as I edit, I realize that some of the stuff I'm talking about in terms of my experience at Hollister doesn't actually match the footage. I must have messed it up in my notes when I recorded it or whatever. But as you're about to hear, I'm gonna say that I tried on a 27 at Hollister when really I actually did try on a 28. It was the 27 length and I just mixed up the width and the length measurements. So a 28 at Hollister is a seven, a size seven regular. I say that I try on a 27 a size seven when really I did try on a 28, but it still is a size seven, like I mentioned. So I do try on a size seven at Hollister. And also I just want to apologize. The footage at Hollister is so fucking bad. The lighting was terrible. Sorry. So I only ended up trying one of the pairs because to my surprise, the 27 fit and not only did it fit, but it was really baggy and it did not look fucking good. As you can tell, I didn't get the right length. I'm tall and it, they kind of looked like ankle pants on me because I didn't get the proper length. But the waist was really big and really baggy. Like I said, I was expecting to go in Hollister and not fit into the eight. So when I fit into the seven, I was really surprised. But also when I came home that day, I was kind of uh, talking about it on Twitter and I was saying how it was annoying how I fit in a size that I shouldn't fit into. And uh, someone actually brought up the point of vanity sizing, which I never heard of, honestly. And when they said it, it kind of made a lot of sense. So if you don't know what vanity sizing is, it's basically when stores make their sizes bigger so that you are more likely to buy it when you wear it because in your mind you think you're a smaller size. I can understand why people would go in looking for an eight, fit into a seven and be like, I'm gonna buy these because I'm a seven bitch. So I just thought that was a really interesting perspective. All right, so after Hollister, I went on over to Levi's and the reason I went to Levi's is I feel pretty obvious. It is a very popular, probably one of the most popular denim stores. And I thought if anyone can do denim, it must be Levi's. So when I went into Levi's, I asked the employee to help me find a size because once again, it was based on measurement, not on like number size. So there was no eight. It was like 26, 27, 20, 29, whatever. And I was told that for an eight, I would be a 29. So automatically I was already kind of annoyed because at Levi's, an eight was a 29, and at Hollister, an eight would have been a 28 if they had had it. Levi's was also the highest number I tried, so the, the 29 was the highest size I tried. Um, and to my surprise, just kidding, wasn't that surprised, but it was actually too tight. So when I tried them on, I could get them up with a little bit of effort, but like the zipper would not stay up. I could not wear those outside. It would not be comfortable. The zipper, I would put it up and it would like bust down. It was like, boom! I had just previously fit into the 27 at Hollister and then I went to Levi's and didn't fit into the 29. I don't jean shop, but it's already starting to make sense why so many women complain about jean shopping because for me, it's easy to go grab a medium legging and then have it fit because it's leggings. But if you're actually going for something that needs like a proper waist measurement, it's so frustrating to be told at one store you're a 27 and then to go to another store and not fit in the 29. All right, so the fourth store I went to was Forever 21. And let me tell you, I fucking hate Forever 21. It is a mess, it smells terrible, and it just gives me anxiety. But I decided to go in because I know Forever 21 is notorious for their junior sizes. So when I went in, I once again asked an employee for help with my sizing because once again, it was measurement sizing. Um, and she looked in her little book and said I would be a 28. So I know what you're thinking. A 27, a 29, and a 28. I got them all. I grabbed a 28 and I went into the change room. Um, it fit okay, but honestly, they just weren't comfortable, and that's kind of an overall trend with all the denim I tried on. It just wasn't comfortable, especially not comfortable enough for me to actually buy it. It had really tight ankles, which, I mean, I can't really fault the pants for that because I just, in general, have, like, fucking thunder calves and, like, bigger ankles. And these ones were also distressed. They were the only distressed jeans I tried on, and much like with every other distressed jeans, the only problem I had is that my loose skin likes to kind of, like, poke through, which is fine, I mean. And then finally I went to H&M because like Forever 21, I figured H&M's a massive store. Like, can they really be consistent across the board? No, the answer was no. But I went in and I found an eight, so I tried on the size eight. And once again, it fit. It was just a little bit too small. I feel like maybe I could have benefited from actually sizing up to a 10 for this uh, like little video. But like I said, like I don't wear a lot of jeans and I don't actually really know my size. So most of them did fit. Um, Sometimes they're just a bit too tight, but I know jeans are supposed to be tight and I just didn't want to wear them. But honestly, my point stands. Regardless of if that was my size or not, it would be good if they put the waist measurement on the size. If they say it's a 27, make it a 27. If they say it's a 29, make it a 29. I feel like a lot of the time we say things like, we should just use waist measurement sizes for our jeans like men do, or hip measurement sizes, and like, 
The fact that these stores did have those measurements and they were still inaccurate, I think is very illustrative of the current climate of women's fashion. And I know there are 5,000 videos on this topic and I know that all of us basically say the same thing, but I think it really is an issue that none of these sizes fit properly. I think it makes a lot of people very self-conscious. I think it makes people insecure. And I think it really makes a breeding ground for dysmorphic thoughts and I don't want to admit it, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's what it's supposed to be doing. Fashion companies benefit off people feeling bad about themselves. I don't know. While a lot of us like to pretend we don't care about numbers, I feel like at the end of the day, a lot of us do. And just not having an accurate or universal sizing system um, does more harm than good. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave any of your sizing experiences down below if you want. You don't have to. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it a lot. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.